Hi friends, welcome to the main sound writing practice. Today, let us discuss the answer for question number 26 that I have given yesterday. So, 26 question is from General Studies paper 3, Science and Technology. It's particularly regarding the nanotechnology. Remember that when in General Studies paper 3, you write answers on biotechnology or nanotechnology or any space technology or defense technology, whatever, do not try to be too technical. Don't try to use too much of technical jargon. No need to go in depth of science technology. You have to apply the science technology to the general things, to agriculture or industries, whatever. So, for example, a science student writing the answer or a general history student, BA student writing the same answer. In fact, sometimes you observe the history student or geography student getting more marks in these kind of questions than a science student because science student will be flayed away by his uh, scientific knowledge and he will write more scientific terms rather than explaining what is asked in the question. So do not do that mistake. So now coming to this question, the question has a statement. The question is asked specifically because recently, two months back, the center has released the guidelines for nano-based products in agriculture. As you may be knowing, in India, in agriculture, to increase the yield or to reduce the pests, the nano products were increasingly used. So, to, so in that direction, government has released certain guidelines. So, based on that, the question has been framed. The question is asking you, explain the advantages of nanotechnology in agriculture. At the same time, there are certain concerns of nanotechnology in agriculture. So, write both the aspects. So, initially, in these kind of questions, I would say, in the introduction, you write one or two lines about what is nanotechnology. First you write what is nanotechnology and also briefly write the applications of nanotechnology in one or two lines and then you explain the statement what are the guidelines released by the government of India. Write two lines then go into the question. So we will see that. So define nanotechnology. You can say you can say that nanotechnology is essentially handling of material or manipulation of material at the size of 1 nanometer to 100 nanometers. In that size, if you design any devices or if you manufacture any material or equipment at such a small size, size of atomic and atomic scale, atomic scale or molecular scale, I mean 1 billionth, 1 by billionth of a meter, 1 billionth of a meter. At that size, if you are handling material, manipulating material or manufacturing devices, that is called nanotechnology. So briefly, that is how we define nanotechnology as. Now, though they did not ask in the question, it's better if you write one line about what are the various applications of nanotechnology. If you think that writing it takes more time, more space, just draw a small diagram. You just say applications of nanotechnology in purif purification of water in health, healthcare, in treatment for certain diseases and agriculture to increase the yield in manufacturing sector also to cut the cost for cost cutting and efficiency in manufacturing also use even in the energy efficiency for energy efficiency also you can use nanotechnology you no need to explain them because that's not a part of the question just draw a diagram just to tell the evaluator that I know what is nanotechnology and I know where the applications of nanotechnology so once you, once you are done with that, come to the statement in the question. In the question they told you that government has recently released certain guidelines. So write two lines about those guidelines. Actually, those guidelines were mentioned specifically for nano based products and their application agriculture. So these guidelines talk about two things. One thing is these guidelines are actually to encourage the innovation and research in nanotechnology related to agriculture. Second thing, second important aspect of the guidelines is that they want to regulate the, they want to, the guidelines wanted to regulate the application of nanotechnology in agriculture so that there won't be any toxicity, there won't be any adverse effects on the environment or health of the farmers. So these are the two things which these guidelines want to with these guidelines addressed address so write like this just two lines now come to the question the question has two aspects one is what are the benefits 
or advantages of nanotechnology in agriculture. Again, as I told you, don't go too much technical. They are just testing your awareness whether you know the applications of nanotechnology agriculture. That's all. So you can say nano capsules are used to identify the disease in the plant and also to treat the disease of plants. Then target specific nanoparticles. So they release the so it is it is actually called as controlled delivery. It's actually called as controlled delivery. So in a plant, in a plant. Instead of delivering nutrients throughout the plant, if there is a specific part of the plant to which you want to deliver nutrients, only for roots, something like that. For such a controlled delivery, you can use target specific nanoparticles. Similarly, biochemical sensors are used in nanotechnology for similarly controlled delivery of pesticide. If you want to apply, if you want to apply pesticide for specific regions of the plant or the crop or the field, you can use biochemical sensors. Similarly, carbon nanotubes are used to analyze the soil. See, soil analysis is very important before you apply the fertilizers or nutrients, whatever manure. So, carbon nanotubes help you understand in the uh, analyze in the soil. Even see, this is uh, food packaging. After the crop is grown and harvested, it is packaged and delivered to the markets. So, during the packaging, smart packaging, you can use nanotechnology and if the package during the transportation, whether the package has been manipulated or not, can be understood by the nanotechnology. That is called integrity of packaging. That means whatever you packed during transportation, you want to ensure that it is not damaged or not manipulated. For that, you can use uh, I mean nanotechnology. Similarly, nanonutrients. Actually, for the agricultural field, generally we use nutrients in bulk, bulk nutrients. So a lot of nutrients are wasted. For example, some nutrients will be absorbed by the plants. Demand nutrients will run off, run off, run off by the water to the surrounding water bodies or to the groundwater, which leads to eutrophication. Eutrophication means increased uh, release of nutrients into the water bodies. That can be controlled by nanonutrients. Instead of bulk nutrients, you go for nanonutrients. So it will reduce the environmental and water pollution. Similarly, the plant productivity can be increased. How it can be increased? No need to explain. Just simply say, see, these are the kind of things which people who have no knowledge will write. For example, I do not know anything. In, for this question, I do not know the answer. Even then, I have to attempt the answer. I have to say, nanotechnology has got several applications in agriculture. It will help in increasing the productivity, increasing the yield, reducing the pest, uh, pests, reducing the diseases. It will, it will help uh, in increasing the food security of India. You write something like this, but those answers will get only one mark or two marks because evaluator, evaluator also knows what kind of answer that is. But instead of getting zero mark, at least get one mark. But people who write like this specifically, they will get more marks. Out of 10 marks, they will get almost the extent of seven marks. So, okay. So, plant productivity will be increased. Even nano filters will help in increasing the soil fertility. Soil fertility is one of the very important things to increase the yield or productivity. So at the end you can say the doubling of farmers income by 2022, which is one of the government's uh, uh, aims or ambitions can be fulfilled by nanotechnology. Friends remember any question regarding agriculture you end like this doubling of farmers income by 2022 can be achieved by this achieved by anything either nanotechnology whatever you finally relate it to some government scheme government scheme because in civil examination government schemes had to be mentioned in most of the answers wherever possible. Now second part of the question, what are the various concerns of nanotechnology agriculture? Because of applying nanotechnology in agriculture, what are the various problems? See one thing is regulatory issues. Regulating the application of nanotechnology is difficult. You cannot regulate government, it is difficult actually. So that is why the guidelines are released. That is one concern. Second economic issue, see it is expensive. The nanotechnology applications in agriculture are expensive. That is one concern. Second thing is health. The workers, the farmers, agricultural laborers, workers who are working with this nanotechnology or nano capsules, nano modules in agriculture, the reactivity of the nanotechnology products with the workers can cause some adverse health effects. It's possible. Even the environmental effects. For example, some of the nanotechnological products are biodurable. They will last for a long time. They may even cause, you know, the biotoxification. So phytotoxicity is possible. It may affect the crop as a whole also. We do not know the 
uh, detrimental effects completely unless we study about each product. Similarly, nano, these nano products may actually kill some of the useful bacteria. All the bacteria is not waste, is not useless bacteria. There will be some useful bacteria. So bacterial diversity is important in uh, crops. So that may be affected by the nanotechnology. As I told you, biodurability is more for nanocellulose and it may affect the soil and the crops also. Similarly, genotoxic effects. Because in a plant, as you apply nanotechnology, the small particles, the one by billionth of a meters, they may translocate to any part of the plant and they may, they may affect the plant genetically also. So there are the various concerns. If you do not know these concerns, generally you write like this. Uh, nanotechnology, though it is a very important technology to increase agricultural product, uh, agricultural produce, it is important for food security. However, it, it can have detrimental effects. It can affect the plant health. It can affect the soil health. It can affect the health of the people who are working in the agricultural field. It can affect the water bodies. You write something, but don't write nonsense because generally effects means this kind of effects. So you can get one or two marks. Now friends, as I told you, in the conclusion, write something meaningful. For example, you can say National Nano Mission 2007 looks into the applications of nanotechnology, again in purification of water, in energy efficiency, in industrialization, in agriculture, etc. Hence, India should actually, you know, invest in nanotechnology. In that way, you can conclude the answer. Friends, the question for tomorrow, General Studies Paper 4, Ethics, is about social responsibility of scientists. So, write an answer in some uh, 7 to 8 minutes and we will see tomorrow. See you friends. Bye.